I need, uh, your, your clients' needs. So I don't know that. Um, but again, the idea is to sort of provide the system that, that can help sort of facilitate whatever it is that you need to make. So uh, the sort of one of the core parts of it, there's two parts. There's a builder and a viewer. Uh, and in, I'll go through the builder real quick just to sort of show you what, what it sort of does. Um, so again, we have this sort of these five discrete steps. So if we come in here and sort of you know, zoom in, you'll see we have atoms, we have molecules, we have organisms, we have templates, and we have pages. Um, so if we start with atoms, um, this is really interesting. What to include in this sort of atomic level? Uh, just a, uh, it was either last week or the week before. I'm pretty sure May 8th. OK. Um, yeah, so pretty recent. Uh, Cloud4, if you're not familiar with them already, they're just amazing. They're just like those smartest people out there. But uh, Tyler Sticka, he went through and he documented what these pattern libraries, what these frameworks uh, all include in their, in, their, in their libraries. And he went through and made this just crazy huge spreadsheet. And so uh, I've been a bit frustrated like looking through and because I'd, I'd need something. And I don't want to have to make all these things from scratch. So basically what I've been doing slowly but surely has been bringing all of those things into, into uh, this design system, uh, into Pattern Lab. And so the idea is that you start off, you have sort of everything, even shit you don't need. But that's all right. You could tuck it away for later uh, because you might not need it now. But like two months down the road, they're like, oh, we actually do need to include like the delete tag or, or something like that. So um, it's sort of better to be on the, on the comprehensive side rather than to be on the, on the short side of things. Uh, but so, so just like sort of an example uh, of sort of like what's in here, right? So we have like global colors. We have global fonts, headings, subheadings with links, uh, unordered lists, and all that good stuff. Uh, a bunch of other different sort of image types, right? So a lot of us have like sort of a CMS pumping out images of certain dimensions. We have different images doing different things like a logo, like icons and stuff like that. Um, it's really important to have all under one roof. So as you sort of scroll down here, we have our color palette, we have our fonts. We also have things that I've never seen in, in other pattern libraries, which is like defaults for animations these very sort of like invisible elements to a design system. But again, that should be consistent throughout an interface. So sort of bubbling that up and articulating it visually, I think, is really important. And then we have like addresses, 